Hi everyone, thanks for watching another episode of Slow Pitch Jigging California. Today I caught two new species on Slow Pitch Jigging, Ocean Whitefish and Lingcod. So we were fishing in a spot where many fellow anglers on a boat had been catching whitefish, and I know my slow pitch jig and hooks might be too large for the whitefish to bite. After a few pitches, I got a very strong strike and head shakes. The fish was fighting all the way up the water column. I really hoped that this was a lincoln, but it turned out to be a huge ocean white fish. The rod I've been using lately is the Temple Reef Innovate Medium Heavy Action. And I'm really growing into it. In my local water, I usually fish with jigs anywhere between 200 to 300 grams. And this rod produces very good action for most of my use cases. The only time that I feel it might be a bit overloaded was when I fish with jigs over 300 grams in very deep water. The jig I was using uh, was the 250 gram Ocean Cat with a 3 old hook on top and 5 old hook on the bottom of the jig. So I was quite surprised when I saw that it was a white fish because usually uh, the jig is too large for them to bite. But when I look at the fish size, I totally understood why it would take my jig. And that's pretty cool about slow pitch jigging versus you know, bait fishing. We might not catch as many fish as the bait fishermen, especially when the fish are small, but we can catch some really quality fish. Overall, I had a great time fishing today, adding two new species to my SPJ list. The lesson learned from today's trip is that you really need to match the jig with the water depths. When I fished my 250 gram jig in 100 feet deep water, I could feel that the jig sink to the bottom very quickly without much flutter action. But when I scaled down the jig size, the free fall action became much better. Thanks for watching everyone, please don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you next time.